Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Setsuna. Let us do five side quest that starts in Gatherington. Uh, go to the pub. Is this the pub? And then I talk to an insufferable man? You him? Yes? Hmm. Are you here looking for the Spirit Knight Stone too? What Spirit Knight Stone? Oh, so you're not. I was sure you'd come here looking for the Spirit Knight Stone. What Spirit Knight Stone are you talking about? Come on, tell us. Well, if it was washed in by the sea. Apparently it's a really rare one and has some mysterious power. Wow, I like the sound of that. So where is it? No, you're better off not looking for it. Take my word for it. Why is that? Because it's cursed. Sounds fun. <laughs> Hey, this is all laughing matter. Alright, listen up. Each person who has owned the stone has since met a horrible end. It's cursed. Anyone who lays hands on it will die. Brrr, scary stuff. Alright, count me out. Hmm. What's wrong, Fights? I should have named him Death. Ah, oh, regrets. No, nothing. Oh, if I had the choice to name everyone, I would name... Wait, I didn't get the choice to name him, huh? Sadness. So who has the stone now? Who knows? Rumor has it some kid stole it and I ran off with it. Someone saw him fleeing to the north, apparently. If you want to know more, try asking around the town. A child. Anyway, we don't need no cursed stone, so let's just forget about it. No child is going to have the magical energy to use it anyway. They'll just think it's any old stone, get bored of it, and throw it away eventually. No, perhaps we should look for it. What the hell? Why? Silence. Mysterious as always, eh, fights? Let's go! Uh... Oh, it's in the fridging cave. Wait, I was... Is it? Am I reading too far ahead? Oh, there you are. Oh no, he fell over! Hi, dude. What's up? Horse voiced merchant, I feel horse voiced. Ugh, dear me, that was a close one. What happened? Well, I heard some caverns no one had entered for years were found in the frigid caves. So I went to have a look, and inside I found a lone child. I was concerned, so I called out to him, but he attacked me using a strange spirit knight stone. Just my luck, I tell you. He might have followed me back, so I'd get out of here as well, if I were you. I don't know how to do horse voiced. I don't want to ruin my voice anymore. A child with a spirit knight stone. Could this be? Yes, it sounds like this is the child who stole the cursed spirit knight. The frigging caves. Okay. Now I don't need fights in my party anymore. That's the reason why I was reading the guide to see when I could switch out people. The only mandatory people I needed in battle by themselves were Endir, which is Jelly, and Nidir. It was annoying. Do I need to save? I should save just in case. Okay, um. Okay. Now I just have to basically make my way through the cave to the end. Ugh. Fun times. Wasn't there a... Head to the east entrance. Of course. There's two entrances to the cave. I don't have to make my way all the way through this one. I could just immediately be at the end. What a fool I am! I saved at the wrong spot. Let me consult my map for the other end of Fridging Caves. Where are you? Where are you? Frigid Caves. Frigid Caves? Hello? That's this entrance. Um, that's Last Lands. That's Flonea Citadel. Frost Caves. Or Orville Plains. Is this the east entrance of Frigid Caves? Nah. I'm not looking hard enough. Dash, I have forgotten Snorbell ruins. 
Where's the east entrance of the Fridging Caves? That's Fridging Heights. Mm. Man, I am set so much world map. I need a better map. This one keeps getting smaller and bigger. Fridging Caves. There's gotta be another Fridging Caves. Where did we come out from? Head to the east entrance of the Fridging Caves and back to where we fought the Aurorian Tiger. I don't remember where that was. Mm. Aurorian Tiger. Let's see. Which town do we... Wait, what? Is that it? Um, make a detour back to the west. That's Fridging Caves. Is it this one? Fridging Mountain Race. Fridging Caves! Yeah, there we are. Okay, I didn't need a map. Woo! Yes. The only thing annoying about these side quests is finding where I have to go. Gosh. Um, woohoo! I don't wanna- I remember trying to take down that guy. Not fun. I'm not gonna try it right now. Um, don't wanna really fight you guys. I don't remember where I fought this tiger. But I guess I just have to backtrack, and eventually I'll run into it. There's save points, so it should be soon. I go to an empty space. That is nothing. Is it? No. Is it here? I don't know. I don't know where anything. Oh wait! I need to fight a. I need to fight this owl. Attack! No! Combo! No one's paralyzed. No one's paralyzed? Hoot hoot. I need it for my um, Snow Chronicles. Yes! Everyone's dead. <laughs> okay, you barely gave any experience, but I just needed it for the... Um, for the owl kill. So all the owls tend to run away. Where the heck did I fight this tiger? <laughs> Wait, you don't die in one hit? For real? Might as well try Genesis and see what it does. Wow, that was awesome. That's so cool. Where did I fight this tiger? No, it's not that. I basically traversed this whole cave without wanting to. So I don't remember where the freak I fought this tiger. Wait, was it this way? Yeah, but I'm Is the here? Was it this? This is not where I fought the tiger. Yeah. Oh, this is so boring! Where the heck am I going? Why can't you give me a like direct map of where this guy is? Dang! Oblivion? No wait, your special thing is Girardia. Haha! -ha. I love their awesome spirit spirit knights. One hit kills. Not technically, but Oh well. Mm, maybe I should go by the save point? Right? Head towards the save point. Weird, yeah. Woo! Overkill. No special types though, it's okay. I wanna move on. I'm gonna save just in case. 
Just in case this is the right way. Okay. Is it here? Yes, I was a fool. I went all the way north when I didn't have to. Fool me. Hello again. We met before? Oh, it's you. I'm so glad to see you're alright. It's all thanks to you. Since then, I... You're... Why is he with you? Didn't you know? He's the one who killed my mama! Oh! This is the kid! The bug kid that I killed his mom! What? He can't be! He killed mama! No, it's alright. Fight is on our side now, and he's a very strong ally. That's not gonna make the kid feel any better. No, I don't believe you! There's no use resisting. Fight's wait. I'm here for one reason only. Give me that spirit knight. Say you're sorry then. Say you're sorry for what you did to my mama. Go on, apologize. I cannot do that. Fides. I will not deny my past. I will not apologize for it or regret it. If you wish to feed on hatred, so be it. It matters not to me. You must choose your own way of life. You are free. However, I shall use that spirit knight. Give it to me. Fides, wait. He's just a child. You can't threaten him like that. I see. I get it now. You're all after my stone. No, that's not true. Listen, that spirit knight is cursed. If you keep it, something terrible will happen to you. No, I can tell. The stone is really powerful. As long as I have this, I can even beat him. I can get revenge for Mama. If you will not give it to me, I shall take it by force. Go on then, just try. I'll... I'll... kill you! No... Vides! I've been all by myself. It was hard and lonely. But I didn't give up. I believed what you said. I believed that one day I'd be able to make friends. But whenever they realize I'm not a human, they all run away! I hate them. I hate everyone. I hate you most of all. Die! Ooh, he's really packing it on to them. Fides, what are you doing? You ain't gonna be able to take this for much longer. Cannot be helped. I swore to Eterna that I would lend my strength to the sacrifice. I cannot die here. Do not hold it against me. Am I going to kill him? Oh my gosh. No, stop it, Fides. Jelly, make him stop! Uh, stop! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot do that. No! Huh? It doesn't hurt. I already told you. All I want is that spirit knight. I do not wish to take your life. I made sure not to harm you. Give it back! It's mine! If you wish, I will return it to you. However, first I want you to see what will happen to the bearer of the spirit knight with your own eyes. Ugh. Do I have to fight him? Oh, he summoned the monster. What the hell? What's going on? This is... it can't be. It is the destruction inside me. That is the power of the spirit knight contains. It is a physical, physical manifestation of my own urge for self-destruction. So that's why the stone is cursed. This is why all the humans who possessed it met a horrific end. Stay back. It is the destruction inside me. I'm the only one who can defeat it. Oh, he ran. Let's go! Ow! Uh, don't hit me again. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna coup de grace right now. No momentum. Let's go. Woo, please die. Okay, Demi shouldn't kill me. It only takes away a percentage. Nice! Now we do Kuri Ross. Momentum style. I love being able to heal after attacks. Dragnarok? For real? It's not Ragnarok? I've Dragnarok the house. 
Woo! Oh, nope. Can't wait for momentum. Oh, Even though Sutsuna is right I there. Do. I need to heal ASAP. <gasps> I killed him, yes! Nice. Perfect. Perfect beautiful. You attain Dragnarok. Oh my gosh, his actual thing is called Dragnarok. That's so funny. I do not know who made the Spirit Knight or why, but I can sense a faint connection to the hatred inside it. Hatred? It appears to somehow be connected to the hatred of my former master. It seems you too sensed this when you held it in your hands. So that was... That feeling of gloom inside me, that urge to destroy everything. Those are the emotions of my former master. There's no light, only eternal, never-ending darkness. Fides. I am not telling you to forget your hatred. If that is what you choose to feed off, so be it. But remember this, hatred leads to nothing. Beyond solitude and hatred, there is only destruction and infinite nothingness. What do you know? I too was once part of that very hatred. No one else needs to feel what I have felt. We know nothing about you, dude. You mean, you did this to save me from destruction? No, you misunderstand. I wanted the Spirit Knight, and so I took it from you. That is all. Thank you, Fides. Either way, you saved this boy. Hmm. I hope you're not expecting me to thank you. No, I'm not. Let me say one more thing, to make sure that you understand. If your hatred begins to overcome you, come and kill me. Come and release that hatred. I shall be waiting. I'll never forgive you for what you did to my mama. So once the sacrifice's journey is over, come back here. I want to be the one to defeat you. I'll make you apologize to me. If you are still alive, that is. Huh. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you again. No, I'm just glad you're going to be alright. Oh, that was weird pronunciation. Oh, my eyes is itchy. Uh, I hope I didn't wipe my liner. Nope, it's good. One day I'll find strong friends like you. I think this will be the last time we see each other, so take care. Why will it be the last time? You'll come back after your journey's over, won't you? Oh, of course you will. <laughs> she won't become a rag. Jelly. See? Of course we'll see each other again. I'm sure we'll see each other again somewhere. That's just a feeling I get. Yes, I think so too. Until then, though, goodbye. Alright, see you! It looks like you really have gained your own will since being free from your master. I'm impressed, Fights, playing the bad guy like that. And that was not my intention. I simply believe it better to have someone to focus one's hatred on than to live alone. Endless solitude and hatred lead only to destruction. If someone can stop that from happening, then they should do so. Fides, do you mean you saw your former master and that child? I do not know. Let us hurry on. The time of our final battle approaches. Heck yeah it does! Reason for being. Okay, and um, spirit night. I, yeah, I got nothing on him. I haven't leveled him up or anything. Um, you got new... Oh, I already equipped the clips on you. Okay. Oh, man, I'm really debating whether I want to uh, level up everyone anymore or just go on with it because it seems like I'm strong enough. Mm. Let's see. Okay, so I should be at least over level 44. Um. Oh, I do need to get one spirit knight for. Do I already have it though? Let me see. Combat instincts. Enigma. Aura. Should I keep aura? Should I keep radiance? Attack bit, physical pride, cyclone. I need cyclone, right? No. De grass, Grand Cross. Do I have Battle Cry? 
There we go. Yeah. Okay. I haven't powered up any of the spirit knight. I hope it's okay and just to use it as is basic stats for final battle stuff. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am, because I remember passing the save point. You know what? Um... No, 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 don't look at me, don't look at me! <laughs> let's head to the last lands. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's go do final battle! Uh, last lands, we're this way? I wish they would give you a freaking small overworld map thing. It's hard to tell where you are once you first get on. Oh, okay, this is the end of the world. Uh, so I'm heading towards the middle. Here we are. Dark and gloomy. I hope I'm strong enough. Let's do this. Uh, let's save, because we finished that, and I don't want to go through the cave again. Let's go, let's see if I can do this. Let's see how long the end is. But if I go through the portal, I should be good to go. Sorry, goat dude. No fighting me today. Okay, and then I just go straight. Ah, oh, it's the team I first started off with, and this is who I'll use to end it. Let's go. I wonder how long this will take. I hope it doesn't take too long or else the file is going to be too big to render, man. Once we go through here, there's no turning back. Are you ready? Heck yeah! Let's go! Alright, let's go. What talismans do I have equipped on everyone? I don't remember- Oh, this is scary. Oh, ew. So that's the Dark Samsara. So this thing's the reason the whole sacrifice ritual started in the first place? That's right, it's what started everything. This power, it feels like I'm gonna be crushed by its energy, and we're not even close to it yet. What are those? That looks like a dragon. Are these all previous sacrifices? Parts of the Dark Samsara. Those? Just plain old rocks, ain't they? No natural matter can exist in this space. The Dark Samsara's power was broken up into parts in order to seal it away. Now that power is being assimilated back into the being's core. However, it doesn't seem to have finished doing so yet. It would appear so. I can sense power flowing into the Dark Samsara from those strange rocks. Ain't we gonna do something about them then? Never mind the rocks, shouldn't we be worrying about the monster itself? No. If we attack the Dark Samsara, it may speed up the assimilation. If that happens, we will be at a severe disadvantage. Well, whichever one we go for, we sure as hell better not mess this up. Let's hurry. We don't have much time. Uh... Thank... Thank you? Everyone? I wanted to do a shocker. Huh? What? Did you really just say that? Hmm... I heard it too. Thought I was hearing things, actually. Don't be so mean, everyone. Jelly was just being nice. Nice. Come on, let's get going. We don't have much time. Whichever one we start from, I know we'll be alright. Damn right we will. I shall give this battle my all. I'm ready. We'll get through this together, everyone. The power of love and friendship. So... What do I do? They said we can't take him head on. Is there anything else we can do? Um, I, wa I just walked near this tail thing and it just- Okay! This is... Fight! Are each of these like boss monsters? Do you know that monster here? Yeah, I know it. It's the same one that attacked my village a long time ago. My brother protected me and ended up getting seriously wounded. Never forgotten it. 
You mustn't let it see your weakness. Stay strong, Kier. If you're feeling a little nervous, Kier, you're welcome to sit this one out. Why not just leave the fight into us? You're joking, right? If I give up now, it'll mean I haven't changed at all. What would Tor think? Nothing, because he's dead. Oh, that was mean, I'm sorry. Like, let's see how much damage you do. Okay, not that bad. Come on. Let's momentum. Okay, looking at Setsuna, she is pretty hurt. Oh, she, we shall heal you with Goody Grass. Oh, I didn't press square at the right moment. I am a fool. Ah! Come on. ATB up. There we go. Now we do more damage. And now we did. I didn't get special um, types of kills. Are we going to see his- Ooh! So there's four of them we have to kill. Got it. <laughs> yes! Take that! Well done, Kier. Ha! That was nothing. Um, he didn't do anything. It was all me. He wasn't part of the battle! What are you gonna be? Oh, it's the Orko Dolphin Loch Ness Monster thing. It's turned into a monster. Stay strong. These things feed on weakness. Fight! Enough talk, let's fight! We're stronger than we were then. And the others are all with us now. Which others? What are you talking about? Miss old wave. Where did you get water from in here, sir? Okay. Just for now because we're healing. No momentum. Wait, that was it? For real? Okay. Not complaining. Thank you for being so easy. Silly Samsara. Together we've got nothing to fear. I understand that you wish only to raise our spirits, but we must remain vigilant. She is correct. Oh, come on, cut it out. This place gives me the creeps. I have to put on a brave front. I mean, I appreciate you for putting on a brave front, but I don't want to talk in your voice anymore because it's hurting my throat, so Kier, please stop talking. <laughs> I guess I don't have to do the voices anymore, but... Might as well stick with it. It's the mole thing. This thing again? Damn it. Fight. Uh, don't shove your crotch in my face. Ain't no coincidence. This thing's the same, is it? Filthy damn monster. Looked inside my heart to decide what you'd re replicate, did you? You know this monster? Never forgotten it. The first time I accompanied a sacrifice, Nana said. I had to battle in a blizzard with her on my back. This thing was my opponent. Back then, I couldn't even get my sword through its shell to hurt it. So that's a tough foe, eh? Think you'll be alright? I'm not the same man I was then. And anyway, I carry the sword for the sake of those I must protect. This journey's made me feel even more strongly about that. Leave it to me. I'm gonna knock this thing the hell out of our way. But you won't, because you're not in my active party. I love coup de gras. So amazing. Die, please. Nope, not dead yet. Okay, so the next one I will try to momentum it. Sap! Oh no! Don't sap me. Momentum time. Booyah! Yes, dead. I should check on Setsuna to see if she still has that status on her, though. Haha, <laughs> you're getting weaker. That thing got the better of me last time, but I've come a long way since then. Hmm? 
What's wrong, Susana? Just now, you said the sacrifice's name was Nanase. Yeah, sorry. Guess I never mentioned it. Nanase was my mother's sister. You don't know my mother as well, do you, Nita? If we get back from here safely, I want to tell- I want you to tell me about my mother. Yeah, alright. Guess I better have a think about what I'm gonna tell you then. Alright. Yep, she still sapped. Uh, sap, 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 sap. Mm, sap. Here we go. I don't think I have to heal her. It's only like 10 points of damage. Who is the last one? This monster. This is. Right? Why would I think it over? Like, don't we have to eventually kill all of them? Julianne, what's wrong? It was the blood of a monster such as this that I took inside my body. In order to see my kingdom restored, in order to live on, I broke even the gravest taboo. I was left with no choice but to do so because of my own immaturity, my own weakness. That is what the face of this monster forces me to remember. But you ain't gotta remember it anymore, do ya? Hmm? He's right, Julianne. You have overcome it. We all know that. Satsuna. Come on, forget all that. It's in the past now. Please, everyone, lend me your strength. And we shall. You have my sword. And my bow. And my axe. You wanna calm down, sir? Come on, come on. There we go. Let's heal. There we go. Not full health, but it's better than nothing. Don't you dare! Can you stop? Stop it. Stop picking on Setsuna. Don't you dare! Mother flippin'! Ugh, where are you? Uh, Athenian water... I thought there was something better than Athenian water that heals more. Thank you. Don't hit Setsuna. Okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna do it. We need to heal, but... Oh, he's dead. Lovely. Wonderful. Oh, why did he pick on Satsuna so much? Yay, all of them are dead. I do not regret having broken Taboo in order to live on. If I had not done so, I would not be standing here now. Exactly, and you wouldn't have met all of us. Uh, heal? I'm gonna use a potion since I don't really use items. Their MP looks fine, but I have a lot of ether, so let's use them anyway, and let's move on. I, I think I'm just gonna truck through all of it. Uh, fight! Ew! That's nasty. So here we are, finally. Huh? That's strange. My body won't stop shaking. I too. The sheer scale of this magical energy must be making our bodies tremble of their own accord. Yeah, me too, to be honest. I feel like my shadow's about to make a run for it. Jelly. Uh... Don't any of you die. Hmm, I don't like you, Jelly. <laughs> you ain't a bad guy after all. There's still so many things I want to do. I'm not kicking the bucket now. This vile foe, nemesis of my kingdom, destroyer of my homeland. To find the true meaning behind those tears, that is why I am here. Whose tears? I don't remember tears. Looks like it's finally time. For the sake of all of us who gave their lives as sacrifices, we must put an end to this. Damn right, let's do this. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. 
Time to finally put an end to this nightmare. Let's give this last battle everything we've got. I don't need you to tell me that, old man. For the future of this world. I cannot die here. Jelly, I'm counting on you. Fight. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, it says battle cry. No momentum. Okay. Woohoo! Ouchie. And now we gotta do this. Space time collapse. Ooh. I think I'm gonna just do battle cry. Oh. What? No experience? I guess. Is that it? What's wrong, Setsuna? You should be happy. We won! At the very last moment, it was as if something was reaching out to me. What do you mean? It was like a feeling of intense rage and of intense sorrow. And they... they were definitely human emotions. Eterna? Long ago, long even before the Dark Samsara was created, all humans possessed powerful magical energy. But at some point, their magical energy started to decline, and eventually it was almost gone completely. People around the world conducted research into how to prevent it from disappearing completely. Although most of them came up with nothing, one kingdom produced striking results. It was the kingdom that once stood here, the kingdom of Julian's ancestors. But the kingdom's researchers were a little too brilliant, and they went too far. They come out with a horrific way of maintaining a supply of magical energy, a method of extracting it from living beings. As a result, most beings that possessed magical energy were used in exper experiments. Sounds kind of like the Kingdom of Zeo. That's terrible. I've never heard anything so shellfish. Selfish, not shellfish. Then, one day, an innocent youth who possessed immense magical energy arrived in the royal capital. He volunteered to help with their research in order to save the world from its predicament. Using Spirit Knight, they amplified his magical energy and extracted it. Then they repeated the process, over and over again. But then, his magical energy began to amplify indefinitely and quickly spiraled out of their control. Unable to contain this vast rampaging magical energy, the youth was destroyed. He became a mass of ever-growing energy. You don't mean that youth was... That thing we defeated just now? So the hatred channeled into me through this monster blood was his hatred. The sorrow I felt came from my master's human feelings of sorrow. This can't be true. The time judge used all the spirit knights she'd be researching in order to seal it away. The kingdom was destroyed, but the entire world narrowly avoided complete ruin. As a result, the time judge became unable to move from here. So in order to maintain her life force and magical energy, She's the one who asked for sacrifices? That's right, it was a tough decision to make. But in order to keep the creature sealed away and protect the world, she had no choice. There was no other way. So the root of all this was the greed of humans desperate to regain their magical energy. Because of that greed, my kingdom perished and the sacrificial rites became necessary. So the sacrifice didn't even have to do with monsters, it had to do with containing this dude's magical energy. Humanity suffered at the hands of the monsters and the world was unable to advance into the future. We continued to play out the past over and over again stuck in a constant stalemate. Whatever foolishness. What complete and utter foolishness. Well, it's over now. We have to look towards the future. What? It's a blob. That light just now, was that... So the Dark Samsara is still alive. It's strange. I cannot sense its presence. You're not going to make sense. You're not going to sense it, no matter how hard you try. It's no longer here. I mean, no longer in this world. Then surely there is no problem. No, there's a big problem. It's escaped to the past. It's planning on changing the flow of time. Chrono Trigger! Escape to the past? What do you mean? 
The Dark Samsara sent itself back in time. It managed to avoid the effects of time being wound back over and over again. It learned. It evolved. Then there is no way for us to follow after it? None at all. Space-time spirit knight disappeared along with the time judge. There's no way to go back to the past. This is the end. It's starting to collapse. With the Dark Samsara gone, the space is vanishing. Damn it! Ain't there some sort of way? We came so far! There's gotta be something we could do. That can't be it. That can't be it. So now the world shall fall into eternal darkness. Traveling across time? How is that even possible? It's like we're out of options. I can sense it. Disaster has begun. Damn it, where did we go wrong? We did everything we could, and it still wasn't enough. This is the worst possible outcome. The end has begun. I don't want to step in that thing just in case it triggers something, but I want to talk to Satsuna. Okay. I'll see you there safely. She's definitely gotta try something. I haven't forgotten. I remember I promised, Jelly. But... This isn't the time. Tell me something, Eterna. How did the Dark Samsara send itself back in time? The time just a space-time spirit knight is gone, isn't it? Powerful or highly emotional charged magic is said to leave behind a trail in space-time. The trail is a record of the magic used, and also of its user's memories. It stays fixed in space. Time being repeatedly wound back must have left behind a very, ah, a very powerful trail of magical energy. I can read. And now the Dark Samsara has followed it back through time. Can't we follow it as well, then? No, not just anyone can sense it. Even I don't have any idea how to do that. Oh, right. Jelly. Can you see them? I see the cosmos! So you can... I can see them too. These rings of light. Aren't they the save points? I've been seeing them forever. Rings of light? You mean you can see it? You can see the trail of magical energy? These rings of light were there throughout our journey, as if guiding us on our way. Now I understand why. They were a record of all our journeys together. A record of our determination, of our steps towards the future. How many times did we repeat this journey? How many times did we fail? But no matter what, we always ended up together again. Here we are, after all. That's because the rings of light always brought us together. No matter where you were, I could always sense everyone's presence. Jelly. So... You and Jelly have been able to see it all this time. Maybe you two really will be able to follow after him. Really? The trail is a record of the magic used, and also of its user's memories. If there's a trail here, they should be able to travel across time, like the Dark Samsara did. It'll probably require an incredible amount of magical energy to do so. But I'll do it. I know I can do it. I'll send you back in time. I believe in you, Eterna. I'm ready. I've been ready all along. Jelly, will you come with me? Heck yes! I need to see this thing through to the end, man! Thank you, Jelly. It looks like we're going to have to stake everything on these two. Oh wait, no one else is coming with us? We need to hurry. Before all hope disappears. I'm giving all my remaining magical energy to you too. I'm sorry to be burdening you with this load right at the very end. Give me your ice power. You must return, no matter what. Please go. And come back, go to him. I'm gonna use every last ounce of my magical energy. And we're gonna send Jelly and Cessna into the past.
Oh, he didn't give it to Setsuna. Jelly, take care of Setsuna. Ah, that's why like he's giving it to me, so I take care of her. Setsuna, Jelly? I'm proud to have spent my final journey together with the two of you. Let's go! Where are we going? Oh, man, I wish I leveled Setsuna up more now. I'm not ready. She's like 10 levels lower than me. Gosh darn it, and it's the two of us, so I can't use our um, coup de grace. Gosh darn it. This is... Knife? Neve? Yes, I remember all so well. Is this really? Oh, it is. Hello. No matter how many times I do it, seeing off the sacrifices never gets any easier. Maybe this will be the last, though. I'm getting on a bit, after all. My throat is getting tired. I don't think I could do all the voices. Uh. You want to get to the village? After you leave the port, just head Nordwest, and you'll soon see it. Nordwest. Is the youth from this town? The Dark Samsara youth? No, that's Raishin. Welcome, traveler. I am Raishin. I live here in this village. Beautiful scenery, warm people. It's a wonderful place, this village. Please stay as long as you like. Is something the matter? Oh, no. Nothing. You're not worried about the monsters, are you? If so, there's no need to fear. I shall protect everyone, even if it costs me my life. How unusual to see this many outsiders, though. Oh, sorry. I saw a figure by the Falling Snow Monument earlier, you see? Falling Snow Monument. That's outside, right? There was no way outside from here. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother talking to everyone else. Oh wait, that was a place to nothing. <sighs> Falling Snow Monument was past the forest. But I thought we had to go back like a thousand years. But this just seems to be before Setsuna was born. Because Raishin's there. Oh good, there's no monsters to fight. But just in case, I'm gonna creep around the edges. Oh man, I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna edit this out. Be right back. Okay, back. Uh... Oh wait, I need to get this all set up. Okay, let's go. Monument. Falling snow monument. How did you see an outsider go all the way here when the forest is so far away? Oh, that looks creepy. From beyond oblivion. Who? You don't mean? Have you returned to your human form? Human. Human form. Your emotions were channeled into someone else, and he cried. So why... why can't you remember those feelings? Cried? Uh, keep talking to him. If he can get back his soul, like he got back his human form, then maybe, just maybe... I cried. Oh, the sky looks beautiful. Help. 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 Stop. Cried with anger. Cried with hatred. I will... 
I will kill you. Oh no, he's tired. Never forgive humans. Maybe we're human too. Um. What do I say? But he seems to want to talk, so he doesn't understand. I can sense it. It's very faint, but I can sense his soul. Do you still think we won't be able to understand each other? Jelly. Wait, he talks. I'm afraid of attacking him because he's talking. In my past experience, when a boss talks, you don't do anything until they're done talking. But that was a thousand years ago. This is not a thousand years ago. And his attacks don't really hurt that much, so I don't think he's like purposely trying to kill me. I'm not saying his lines because I want to hear his voice. Should I at least heal myself? Just in case he, like, decides to bust out a super strong attack at the end. You got some messed up humans who did terrible things to you, dude. I'm sorry. But why did you come back to this point in time? Stop. Are you done talking though? It seems like he's done talking. Are you done talking for real? The heck? Why'd you play the victory music? Stay back. We don't know what's gonna happen. Don't worry. It's alright. Who was he? Are you really you? Are you, plan Are you really you? Yes, this is my own will. I want to be close to him. I want to make up for all the time he's lost. He must have been so lonely, all alone like that. Jelly. Please destroy my body. What? I shall fulfill my final duty as sacrifice. Jelly, I'm glad I met you.
I don't want to. Is that it, no matter what? Wait, what the heck is happening? Setsuna, I know you feel bad for the dude, but you can't sacrifice yourself for him. Thank you. But the snow is continuing. The snow not have anything to do with the dark samsara? What's wrong, Canton? I'll bet most people haven't noticed a thing. Notice what? Meter and the others. They did it. Is that it for real? Wait, why are you guys out here? Where's Endir? She's going away? It's because it's all done? Yo, she's like freaking Aaron. Did she restore her old capital, her old kingdom? Is this our airship? <laughs> I don't really know what our airship looks like. I don't think they ever showed us a close-up. Cessna's really gone? Oh my gosh. Here went back home. But where is everyone? Ha, you, you trickster. I hate pranks. I hate practical jokes. You made him think they were gone for a second. Oh. Oh, hey. So the snow doesn't end. The snow was not an effect of the monsters. This world is just super snowy. But where am I? Where's Jelly? Bites is helping out people now. Aren't you gonna go back to the monster boy? Oh, it's me! Is that it for me? Is there a different thing that happens if I do swing the sword? What? That was it? Wait, okay, so... What? The Dark Samsara battles... were a joke. Maybe because I was super strong and I had a really good Spirit Knight setup? But, like, the actual battle itself... And then we found out about the youth. And then we went back in time. 
He didn't go back super far. He went to the Falling Snow Monument. And then Setsuna decided to house his soul to make it for his last time. And so, what? I don't understand. Am I missing something? Did I miss anything? What? He got to talk and he was like, Man, I'm suffering. I hate humans. Stop me. And I killed him. Setsuna took his essence into her. But then she told Ender to destroy her body. What? Who? In the end, who was the youth? The only reason why he was the bad guy was because his magical power kept amplifying and amplifying out of control. But he wasn't causing the monsters because even though we got rid of him, the monsters were still around. Fides got rid of three of them when he saved the airship dude. Does that mean the monsters won't be as aggressive now? They'll still exist, but they're not aggressive. Like, they didn't even show the little monster boy at the end. There better be something at the end of all this. I'm just so confused. Like, that can't be it. It's the tree in the cover. Those are some ruins. We never really did find out more about Endir, like where his mercenary village is from, what exactly his deal was, how he came to end up with our party this time around. What? She became a tree? What? Is this okay? No! She became a tree! She didn't have to sacrifice herself. She just felt bad for the youth who suffered for a thousand years. Am I missing something? I'm... what? That just felt so anticlimactic. The bosses from the side quests were way harder than the last battle. The spirit knight eaten monsters were way harder than the last battle. We didn't really find out that much about the youth. We found out his backstory about how he became the dark samsara because his magical energy amplified and he just came from a random village. But in the end he was just like, oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hatred, crying, stop me. Setsuna didn't have to kill herself, but she felt bad for the dude. So in the end, she died anyway, even though she told people she'd stay alive and come back. What? What? What happens if I, I load it? For real? This is where I end up? Okay... Um... That is... sad and disappointing. Mm, 
I don't want to listen to this depressing music for my last final thoughts. The game itself was very cute. I liked the fact that it was like Chrono Trigger style. You have different spirit knight you could equip, you can make different combos. I like that. Finding out about everyone's journey was cool, but in the end, like... In the end, nothing feels like it got resolved. Like, Kier went to find out if his people could live longer. Eterna accomplished her mission and she disappeared. Neither got to see a sacrifice through her journey safely, even though she decided to kill herself at the end. He made it. Vides was just along for the ride. Julian managed to restore her find out about what happened to her kingdom. And dear, we don't really know much about him. Satsuna decided to die for a dude. I feel like everything coming together was like nice and cute, but the fact that this game doesn't show you like a world mini map in the bottom corner when you're exploring, like right now. What the heck are all these artifacts? Like, inventory, if I go to items, like, okay, aside from the food. Wait, no, materials. Like, what are these? What are these relics? Are they used for anything? I saved them for, like, just in case of side quests or stuff, but can I just... Were they just be able to be sold and I would get more money? There's barely any key items. I mean, the music was cute, the art was cute. And then there's some like unused things in the world, like random abandoned villages and huts. There's some like old people in there sometimes. I thought those would be part of side quests, but they weren't. I mean, some of them were. The bandits hideout and the, uh, the mercenaries hut for Ender side quest. But then there's some other places that are like you can go with them, like a random field. But then there's nothing in there? And I'm just so confused by the ending, like what exactly happens? Overall, I liked this journey. The end is just so disappointing. At least for Chrono- maybe because I'm c comparing it to Chrono Trigger so much? But con Chrono Trigger had a solid beginning, no matter how many people you picked up in your party and which side quests you decided to do in different timelines. Like, you still saw impacts of them in the world while you were playing. In this one, it's just like, you got your final spirit knight, great. And then you went to the last battle, and the last battle in Chrono Trigger is so hard and so epic, and you're like, this is the last dude. We gotta go all out on him or else, like, all the world's doomed. But this one was like, so easy? Maybe if I didn't defeat those four statue things, it would have been harder? But even those four statue things were really easy. Maybe it's because of my my spirit knight setup and the, the levels that I was at, but it, I didn't feel like I didn't feel any sense of urgency to kill them or to kill the last boss and the thing with the youth was like, okay? Unless they were, like, alluding to him throughout the whole game, and I just, like, didn't realize? Hmm. Well, I did all the side quests. I finished the game. The rest of the trophies I'll get on my own time because most of them are just grinding at this point. Overall, I gotta say I'm kinda disappointed with the ending. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this a 6. I love how they made little references to Chrono Trigger. I love the art, I love the music, and it's just like nice calming piano most of the time. But I feel like there wasn't any great payoffs in the end for a lot of people's stories. Oh well, I'm getting really hungry and I'm going to go eat and edit this and give my throat a break because it's getting really hoarse and dry. So this is the end. This is the end of I Am Setsuna. And now we find out where that tree came from. 
in the cover image. Cool. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.